Masalah lingkungan itu adalah masalah weak problem. Jadi masalah yang banyak sekali yang terlibat, sehingga yang diperlukan adalah platform untuk kolaborasi. Platform kolaborasi yang kuat adalah platform yang berdasarkan pada scientific base. Karena dari situ kita bisa belajar, dari situ kita bisa menyesuaikan, dari situ kita bisa mendevelop kebijakan baru, mengukur keberhasilannya, dan lain sebagainya. Polisi itu penting, ya. jadi perlu backup research yang bagus untuk nanti akhirnya menghasilkan polisi yang uh, efektif. Efektif itu juga nanti akhirnya pemerintah yang mendapatkan manfaat dan tentu saja masyarakat secara keseluruhan in terms of uh, Effort yang dikeluarkan, resource yang dikeluarkan seperti budget juga nanti efektif gitu. Jadi kita berhati-hati di awal, tapi nanti untuk melakukan satu uh, policy atau intervensi yang benar-benar uh, bisa dipastikan uh, apa ma 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 keefektifitasannya. Nah, untuk itu diperlukan uh, dialog yang konstruktif antara peneliti dan pengambil kebijakan. I think the aim of this conference was to find the areas of kind of mutual interest. Like, what are the key policy questions that the Indonesian government and Indonesian policymakers, Indonesian civil society, uh, really wants to answer in the climate space? And what are the what is the overlap between those questions and kind of the questions that are of interest to global researchers? And so, I think we've you know a, a huge number of issues I think came out that I'm, I'm really hopeful will become uh, the fruit of for future collaborations and research. energy access uh, that is sustainable. I think there's a lack of uh, some aspect of sustainability in clean energy access and there's two uh, part uh, related to the energy, clean energy access which is cooking, clean cooking and electrification and I think in the discussions in today's are been very fruitful and in terms of electrification the, there's a need on on you know initiative for the demand as well and then from the supply side and but then there's some realizations from the discussions that supply side seems to be very limited and what can we do on the demand side as well uh, blue economy pengembangan blue economy ada tiga pilar uh, UNDP documents UN documents World Bank documents selalu menyampaikan sustainability dan economic growth but the equity issue gitu ya who gets what and how the profit or the net benefits to being distributed itu adalah hal yang sangat penting untuk kita encourage atau untuk kita pay attention dan concern ya untuk di Indonesia karena kita mempunyai dua setengah atau lebih ya no actually 4 juta 
nelayan yang directly related atau rely on sumber daya kelautan. There's so many topics and questions that really need to be addressed. Where I feel that the evidence can be useful is helping us think about where where there could be points um, that we can make real inroads into addressing these kind of topics. Where should we be investing our resources on the policy side? Where can we make the most difference? And so for me, having the conference here today and having these discussions of trying to understand what might best work, how can we develop more evidence to figure out what works, and where should we invest our, you know, our scarce resources to try to make a difference, is just so important. JPAL Southeast Asia is really, really excited about working in this area. Right now we have researchers working on a variety of topics. For example, we have researchers working on coffee certification, finding really promising results of how it can affect livelihoods. We're starting to develop projects, our, our affiliates are starting to develop projects on topics such as disaster insurance. We also have a lot of forestry work as well. We're hoping to do more in the energy space and sustainable energy moving forward. And so for me, that was one of the most interesting part of the conference to learn from everyone here about what are the issues and topics that we should be looking into.